shy, like no, you're. No, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna come, come on. Okay, we'll, we'll be live. Hi! Where's the camera? I don't, the chat out front for you there yet. I don't know where the camera is. Oh, there. Hey! Hi! I don't have the chat out front for you yet, but. Okay, that's okay. okay. I'll wait you. Yeah, I got about two minutes until I gotta go back to my volunteers, but I'll sit for a second if you got something to ask. No. <laughs> I was fine until that. Is there any questions? Um, not yet. Okay. Hey, I'm Amanda from Fundamental Home, and I'm the volunteer coordinator here at Home Centers of America. So um, every year, if you volunteer for the conference, you can come and you get free tickets. So next year, if you want to come, just follow Home Centers of America and the Home Centers of America community on Facebook, and we'll put notifications out. And uh, if you want to uh, volunteer and get your free tickets, you can just go sign up and we'll chat with you and we'll try to find the volunteer position that works well for you. So do that and you can come hang out with all of us and have a good time. So just throwing that out there. Hi. Y'all want Farmer Mima back, don't you? I know you do. Yeah, we're in Winchester on Sensei Road. Set my dad in before I walk by. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to head out. I have got to go check on all my volunteers. I'm just walking around and checking the vendors. So, hey, thank you. Come back later. Yes. Hello, world. My name is Brian. I got a place down in Louisa, Virginia. I decided to come up here today and uh, meet a lot of fine folks. If you're not here, you're missing out. Uh, a lot of good stuff going on and uh, a lot of learning to do. So I'm going to get to it. Nice to meet you too. Oh, yeah. You ain't got any possum burgers left, do you? Pardon? You got any possum burgers? You got some possum pizza? Possum pizza? Uh, you got your canopy in there? In the truck? I have the canopy at the camper. And the camper here? Or? Well, the camper's seven miles from here. Oh. I was going to say I'd help you set it up real quick. If you had. I appreciate the offer, but... I would say you want my hat. <laughs> no disrespect meant. I am, uh... And, and you know, the... You could say hi to everybody because you're live. Did you know that? I just wanted you to be aware before you said something you shouldn't say. <laughs> I said hi to everybody. There you go. I wasn't going to say anything bad. You know that. Oh, I, well, I just didn't want you to. I'm just looking out for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm breaking the can TV sets across. Me. Oh, okay. Now if I can just get this one up so we can see the chat on this side of the uh, table. You say this is live yet? Yeah, it's still live. Well, thank God it is. All the people out there, if you need this to put in your garden to scare the molds away, you're more than welcome. <laughs> All right, maybe, sort of, kind of, don't know yet. All right. We're trying real hard here. So, chat's over here. I'm looking at the chat now, so I can barely see. Sweet Pea Farm, New York, Be Lady Apri, Reap What You Sow, Mountain Life, Montana, Morris Patch of Heaven, Homestead. How is everybody doing today? We have a beautiful day, absolutely beautiful day, here in Front Royal, Virginia. Um, how many people are here, would you say? How many people are here, would you say, so far? All, all right, Farmer Mima says thousands of people are here. Blake, come over here. Oh, okay, sure. I think we need to get them both over here.
So what I do is we have we have a couple of stars here. Stars? Stars. Where are they? Are you sitting in? No. You're sitting yeah. in. Where am I? Well, you're actually right here. Here's the okay. camera. I'm still trying to get things somewhat set up. All right. There is chat here. It's oh. just difficult to see. It is a little hard to see. Who's here? Sweet Pea Farm, Moore's Patch Heaven, the Bee Lady. It is kind of tough to see the screen, guys. It's very tough. Mountain Life, Montana. Yes. Kiss my gra. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Sweet. So hello, welcome to the Homesteaders of America in Front Royal, Virginia. You make it really easy because it's on the screen. You can remember where you are. Yes. Yeah, well, I didn't want to get lost. Yeah. So I had the pleasure this morning of meeting already a number of people. Now the reason, the reason I came was to just connect with the community a little more, get to meet people in person. So if you go to my Instagram, can I promote my Instagram? Too late, just did. Daddy Curbs Farm. <laughs> you can see some of the people I've already met with and uh, and there will be more there's gonna be a lot of photos coming on uh, so we can we can connect and build this community because that's what this is all about and you guys are doing a great job showing up with these things and helping the community connect even more so I appreciate that who's here oops I don't want to mess stuff up yeah, the, it's a, it's kind of unfortunate that we're out in the sun with this because it is tough to see the screens, but I think it's really cool that you guys are here supporting Two Family Homestead and the uh, just the community that we have going on. I wish I could see the screen and hang out and, and chat with you guys. Farmer Brad says, hey Daddy Curbs, I see that. Moore's Patch, Heaven Homestead, hello. Reap what you sow. Wishes they were here. Hey, are you that? Hey, you are Daddy Curbs. Yes, the bee, <laughs> the bee lady. I met this morning um, the uh, Honey Farm or Honeystead. Is that, I'm gonna check my Instagram because I just just uh, met them online and then this morning in person. It is the Honeystead. She's a beekeeper, which is really cool. Does that help at all? Probably would help if it were kind of over. No. <laughs> okay, well, we tried. That was a good good effort. Yep. Daddy Curbs, if you can see my shirt, Daddy Curbs. Tomorrow, I plan on doing a live show. Are you on Wi-Fi right here? Are you on, oh, on your own Wi-Fi? Morris Patch of Heaven, good to meet you. Yeah, this is, uh, no, I just ran out of stuff to say. <laughs> Who's coming in? Farmer Mima. Come on, come on, come on. I can't do this alone. Okay. Okay. It's so bright. We got to pull the camera down. <laughs> get, so about the angle. Get, can't, there we go. Is it okay? Yep, it's good. Yeah, it was just, I'm short. So it was short this bitch up. I'm short too. I'm sorry. So I see I, I'm even trying to sit up straight. I'll, I'll go down, you go up. So I every time I do a, uh, an Instagram photo with people, typically I'm the smallest person in the picture, especially among men. You know, they're, they're generally much bigger than I am. So, <laughs> they, uh, I do. Uh, I, I try to get on my toes, and I encourage the really tall guys to squat <laughs> down squat. just a little bit, so I'm not like the elf, the daddy curves, right. homesteading elf. <laughs> so maybe you'd already gotten to Mike Pratt and yeah. and Doug and Stacy whenever I took pictures because they they already knew to like. Get down a little bit. Get down a yep. little bit. <laughs> yeah. So I try to position myself. If there's a hill or an incline, I get on the up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my yeah. goodness. Brilliant. Good tips. Yeah. So, hey. How are you, Brand? So good to see you guys. Heritage uh, Ways. Heritage Ways. So good to see you. I know. We did make it. It was. It was. 
We made it. No. Great. How are you, buddy? Awesome. I, I think you should have them sit down. I know they should. No, wait. You're not done. You're not done. So, tell your story. I have a story. Yeah, you do. Everyone has a story, and every story counts. I say that every time. I know you do. I love that. And I, I really don't. I was like my dad gardened. I was raised with a garden, and I don't know. Like. You just haven't fully embraced your story. You have a great story. I have, I, and this is why my my YouTube channel is incomplete. And he ripped me a new one for when you when you analyze my channel is like you don't have this. You need to do that because it's like who am I and what do I do? I don't know. I'm Farmer Meemaw, but I changed my name to Quite Frankly Jen because I wasn't really farming. And I just want to do, quite frankly, whatever I wanted to do because I have like a bazillion interests and they change. Yeah. Like I'm ADHD, I'm keto, I do bullet journals, I do bubbly stuff, we do all kinds of stuff. Okay, I want, stuff. I want to jump in here just for jump a second in. because how long were you former me, Ma? Um, forever. Yeah, I mean, I, when I first started my channel, 2016. So even though you changed your name, your name didn't change. Everybody no. Knows. Everybody knows Farmer no. Meemaw. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I tried to be quite I tried to rebrand, but I had... Yeah. Too late, I had, you're branded. Right. You're branded. I was branded to you're go... You're stuck. With, right. You're stuck. I am so stuck, but that's okay. <laughs> I was like we a keto, a keto uh, channel. One of the reasons that I changed back to Farmer Meemaw was because... I was quite frankly Jen and I would go to their Instagram live videos and I would say hey or whatever I said quite frankly Jen and he was like hey Farmer Mimo and so everybody's looking for Farmer Mimo and they can't find me sure because I'm quite frankly Jen and they don't know that yeah and he doesn't ever he doesn't ever say he's talking to quite frankly Jen or whatever so well, so I, and, and, just, just so you know hey, you, you, you can't ever side. you can't ever change your Farmer Mimo and we love no. you just where you are Thank you. I know. I've embraced it. I've embraced it. <laughs> yes. A beautiful story for a beautiful woman. <laughs> she's picking she's, up comedy she's here. She's as red as her shirt. No, I got sunburned yesterday. Uh-huh. You're as red as your shirt. Look. Well, you can't tell now, but I was sunburned. That's a pretty good tan you got going on there. It's a farmer's tan. Farmer Mimo tan. Yes, because I'm not, I'm not a housewife. I'm a yard wife. Yeah. I, my husband is a house husband. It's all right. he, he's an insidey person. Yeah. I am a yard walk. I love I, I love being outside. Amanda told me to wear sunscreen today and I was just thinking, no, I don't do sunscreen. That's <laughs> my luck. Putting chemicals on my face would end up me being brighter red from like some kind of reaction than if I just got a sunburn. And I mean, this is just vitamin D. This is proof that I'm getting my vitamin D, vitamin D today. There you go. So yeah. yeah awesome. Yeah. So I saw one person already there said that they love you and they love your name. So. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> yeah. Hello, how Farmer Mima. How do you even, how can y'all read that? It's tough. I, it, I have to catch it just at the right angle. Yeah, I'm going to see if I'm I can decrease the resolution, get everything bigger. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> If I can find what I'm doing here. So, Freedom Homestead said that uh, they like seeing us both and they wish they were here. Freedom Homestead. I know Freedom Homestead. I've never met her, though, because she didn't come this year. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yep, I've met, I've met, like, I think pretty much all of, all of my favorites except Freedom Homestead. I fully expected Freedom Homestead to be here. I know, right? Nope. Nope. <laughs> hey, Tangy. I love you, Tangy. I wanted to see you, Tangy. Just saw you, Tangy. Yeah, that's easier. It's Ooh, bigger. wow. <laughs> I can read that. Just gotta see my white shirt's reflecting, though. It's kind of tough. We'll look beyond the shirt. I didn't even notice your shirt until you said that. That was uh, deep philosophical stuff there. <laughs> beyond the shirt. I am. Uh, yeah. I'm a very deep <laughs> and philosophical person. It runs deep. You gotta put boots on sometimes because it's so deep. <laughs> nice.
So I'm sure you guys already know, but the amount of effort and technology and time that Two Family Homestead puts into this for you to be able to connect to these events is tremendous. And we are very grateful to you guys for doing that. Absolutely. You're so well spoken. See? In front of the camera. Okay. Do, do I, I like, yes, I'll take cash or you can Venmo or, or PayPal. <laughs> I have, uh, I've worked through a lot over the years. This is a part of my story. Early on, which you remember early on, years ago, when I was on, my uh, my presence was not. You can have a smudge sticker. Oh, oh you've been smudged. <laughs> oh, my, my online presence was not great because. Um, just all the, the the fears and insecurities that I deal with, yeah. and over the years, I've uh, YouTube actually the YouTube, just the process of being in front of a camera and analyzing myself and thinking through things, and then the support of the community has helped me break free of some of those insecurities and fears. So now I can speak more freely to because it used to be me looking at a contraption and I was just nervous because I knew somebody on the other side somewhere was going to see it and judge me. And the truth is, I was judging myself. Right. Uh, Been there. But yeah. So now I can, I can a little more freely get past that. Sometimes, sometimes it sneaks back in, and I have to, I have to let go. But yeah, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put my smudge. See, and that made me think a little bit of, of my story is that. I have avoided cameras my entire life. Like, I would be behind the camera if there was a group picture and they made me stand it. I would get in the back and, you know, I'm short, so yeah. I could hide. And so I've avoided cameras my entire life and I hate technology with a passion. Yeah. <laughs> and so here I am in front of the camera yeah. on YouTube. My first, Sharing my early story. videos were just my hands. Yeah. Like, I would do like kombucha or whatever I'm making and you would just see my hands because. Yeah. And I, I did a, a reveal video of the face <laughs> that goes along with the voice. So, yeah. And I was in the parking lot picking up my raw milk that day. That's where I was sitting as I did the video. I remember that. Do you really? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That was wow. like six years ago or something. That <laughs> was three and a half-ish. January 1st. <laughs> January 1st of 2016 was day one. I was like, I'm going to start. And I've never stuck to anything in my entire life. And I stuck to this. Good. I'm glad you did. Yep. I'm my husband is shocked <laughs> that I stuck with well, it. stay with it because, because you're encouraging people. Thank you. And that, that's important. The, mm -hmm. Being, you know, everyone has a story and every story counts. That's what I say and that's, that's what I believe. It's more than just a phrase. It's more than just something that, that I think is catchy. It truly is important. It was important for me to understand that my story is important and it's okay. Not only okay, but in some respects, critical for me to share that. Mm -hmm. Because some there are people all over the world have sent me messages. I don't make it sound too big, but there have been people from many places in the world say, what you shared was important. It helped change my life. It helped me start something new. It helped me feel confident. You know, all those things. And that's that's my greatest uh, compliment. When people say, Daddy Curbs, you helped me get started. Or you yes. helped me change my mind. Or you, whatever. That is the greatest compliment. Yes. that It's huge. Because, and that's like when I did keto. I've, I got a lot of older women because my, my a lot of my viewing base is older women. I've gotten a ton of people that um, started keto and now of course they have flown past me and they've lost way more weight than I have and they look fabulous and they're talking about they're off of medications and yeah. this that and the other and it's just like yes and that's whenever somebody and you help. gives yes and that is the biggest thing for yes. me is you know every now and then someone will send me a message about how they got started and they're feeling better and I show my husband and I'll have like tears almost in my eyes and I'll yeah. show my husband I was like read this and then he yeah. reads it and I was like that's why I do this that's that's, that's exactly. why I do this because he's not he's not a computer person he's not a YouTube -y. like if you notice even though I'm Farmer Mima, you know, that there's obviously a, a papa to make me a Mima. And you don't see my kids, you don't see my grandkids, you don't see my husband because they're not, you know. You know, my, my granddaughters, they need to have their own channel. They watch Trinity and Madison. I don't know if you know who that is. Some of y'all might know. The big little girls that do Hello Neighbor and all that. And they imitate Trinity and Madison. And I was like, 
just be yourself. Do this and say your own names, and they will recite Trinity and Madison from YouTube. But anyway, yeah, it's it's exciting whenever you see yeah. that you get to influence yeah. people in a positive way. Yeah, you know, and they give back to me whenever because I'm pretty raw and. When I'm having a bad day, they find out I have a bad day, and I, I, you know, I share a lot of stuff I probably shouldn't. Most people would sense wouldn't, but it helps people, it, you know, make them smile or whatever, and, and that's always good. Okay. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> wonderful. That's wonderful, and that's what that's you know that there there are different reasons for being on YouTube or in um, uh, doing social media or whatever. There's different reasons. People have their own reasons, but. For me, and obviously for you, reaching out and helping people, and it's not like we're so good we're helping people. No, no. Just knowing, <laughs> just knowing that 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 our story is touching people. Right. Even though we're up. as we're as you know human and faulty and all that good stuff as we are, we're still we're still able to connect with other people and encourage and inspire. And, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. You don't, to, you don't have to be perfect, obviously. Have, we better not have to be, because I'm done. Yeah, nobody. All right, let's see. Where are we? Uh, three Musketeers. She's so cool. She's talking about you, I'm sure. No. Oh, wait, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, oh, they're chatting with each other. That's cool. See, that's part of the neat thing about yep. this is people doing community. Top, top cam left is frozen. <laughs> top, top cam left is frozen. We got a frozen cam. Okay. See, I break technology. <laughs> it hates me too. I hate it. It hates me. That must be that one up there. There's one up there. The camera there because oh. he's got he's got multiple oh. cameras here. He is so awesome like that. Yeah, he is. This is the type of live show setup I want. Isn't it awesome? Yes. It's just like so I'm gonna be doing my live show out here tomorrow morning. Are you really? Yes, and I gotta figure out where I'm setting up. Good luck. Well, I've seen people everywhere. Like there's like empty spaces on hillsides and stuff. Yeah. Just getting a good sunny spot. Uh, it, the critical element's gonna be Wi-Fi. I just gotta have a good signal. Oh, is it better? See if they say it's oh, better. I don't know. Is it better? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yes, it looks better on here. It looks like it's not frozen now. Uh huh. I guess you could just check up there. I was waiting to hear yeah. somebody else say whatever because yeah. I didn't know anything about technology. Everything's just over here. Yeah, it's very warm. The sun's Is beating it really? down. Well, I'm I'm ready to step out of camera. Who who's taking my place? Are you coming in? No. Bye, y'all. Is Heritage Waves coming to the camera? I will. Well, come on in, big guy. Come on in. Yeah, you guys need to come in and and share. You guys take the front row. It's good to so see good you, to see you guys. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen you since life. Yeah, conference. Well, come in and sit down and start sharing your story. These people want to hear it. All right. We're introducing Heritage Ways. Yeah, so the camera's here. Okay, now I see it. And they have a beautiful story. Beautiful family. All right, step this is in. Little Music Man right yeah. here. I'm gonna step out. You guys right are right awesome. here. And John Boy, where's Little Miss Homemaker? She's she's over there somewhere. Little Miss Homemaker to is visiting her friends because that's the story of her life. <laughs> All right, you're Mr. Patient, yeah. and I'm Miss Katie. We're from so Heritage we're, Ways. Yeah, we are. And we're sharing, he says. Well, what do we do? Be right back. What do we do, Mr. Patient? Time's up. What do I'll we tell. Do? Give the go. Go. <laughs> go. We are Heritage Ways on uh, Instagram, YouTube.com, Pinterest. But we uh, share content regarding. Uh, with topics regarding honoring the home, celebrating heritage, and spreading hope. Yep. And all of our content um, <clears throat> falls under those categories. Um, we sold our farm, our second farm, <clears throat> last summer so we could full-time travel and, and see where we needed to be for our next homestead. And, uh, oh, hey, there's the messages. Hey, Kiss My Grass Acres, hello, Heritage Ways. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see. 
Um, I didn't know. We were looking here. Can I scroll down and see who's? I can't see the reflection. Okay. Um, so anyway, we um, are going to be settling down, Lord willing, in the next year and a half. X months. So. We don't know what that means. Yeah, we're, yeah we're, we're taking steps to settle down into our next homestead, but we've had to. I grew up on a farm, 1830s farm. And we raised our three adult children. Some people might not know our story, so let's farm. just tell. We've got six children. Yeah, we have six children, two grandchildren. So our three adult children are flown the coop. Our youngest of our oldest crew turns 21 on Sunday. So, but um, yeah. So we have a 27-year-old, a 23-year-old, going to be 21, and then we have a 12-year-old, an 11-year-old, and an 8-year-old. And like she said, the three oldest <clears throat> have already moved out. Two of them are married. We have two grandchildren. We do. And uh, uh, five year, almost five years old, and about six months or so. And two beautiful daughters-in-law. So that's yeah. our that's our little family. And um, so anyway, we that's raised. Not so little. <laughs> well, <laughs> we raised uh, the three adult children who are now adults. We raised them on the farm, the 1830s farm where I was raised. All right. Yep. And then unfortunately we had to sell that house and well economy and, and job loss and getting a new job and yeah we had to sell that house and 40 acres and moved an hour away and we moved into what we call it's more of a to us it was a city farm but it was outside the city limits but it was um, it was just six acres but we were we were getting started with you'd built the chicken coop and the chicken right. tractor and we got the raised beds going and. And uh, and then um, well, and we had the <clears throat> we had gotten the in-ground garden started. Good morning, morning, Morris Patch of Heaven. I'm trying to see everybody, but it's hard to see. Uh, hello, Appalachian Mercantile, Appalachian. See, I think that's the proper way to say it. All my life, I've said Appalachian, but I think Appalachian is correct. I'm a I'm now a Foxfire. Foxfire ambassador for Foxfire out of Northeast Georgia, so I need to learn to say the word properly, right? <laughs> Reap what you sow. Hey, uh, <coughs> I can't see. Yeah, it's I hope I'm not missing. Uh, anyway, guys, so what were we saying? I don't know. Does anybody want to know? Ask us a question, I guess. But <clears throat> where was I? I did yeah, talk so, too much. So That's we, true. So we started. So we sold our farm and started full-time RVing uh, actually a year ago this month uh, to go out and uh, and meet our social media friends and to uh, research areas to find our next homestead. So we've been doing the full-time RVing for about a year and uh, when we were at the Homesteading Life Conference in Missouri um, back in August after after that weekend it became apparent to us that that this that we really missed our homestead yeah so after after that conference we started discussing among ourselves um, you know trying maybe thinking about going ahead and settling down because when we started this journey we were going to do this for for at least three years um, but like I said, we, we really realized after that conference that, that we miss our homestead and we miss being able to um, work around the farm and do our gardening and, yeah. and doing those things that, that the homestead lifestyle is all about. So, so after that, we started thinking about where we needed to go, where we need to settle. And uh, so that's what we're working on now. Um, we, we could... We could go ahead and settle now, but with one of our sons, we he has a house that he is renting from us, a small starter house, and uh, and we don't want to kick him out because we told him that he had a certain amount of time before we would we would need the uh, profits off of that house to be able to or the proceeds off of that house to be able to settle. So so we're trying to figure out a way that we can extend our time um, but really stay more stationary than we have been because this RV lifestyle the way we've been doing it is has been really tough because uh, I mean it's we're pretty much moving every week um, and then 
you know, when we're in an area, we have the kids that need to get their homeschooling done. We have things we want to see while we're in the area, so we just people we to just, meet. Yeah, people to meet. So we just feel like we're on the we're, we're on the go all the time. Um, There's so, some questions we can. So we're looking at. So you know, we've we've come to the realization that you know what this is us and uh, it's time to go ahead and start figuring out where, where we need to settle. So. Yeah, and uh, this isn't, um, I'm just throwing this out there, but actually we do have a video on our channel, and it's a, a live, but it, I mean it's a formerly live, and it does tell um, what happened to us after the Homesteading Life Conference and how we decided then that we needed to start settling down. And he's right, we, we kind of agreed with our son who's, who's got that rental house we bought the small rental house after we sold the farm so that we could put some furniture there and our son wouldn't be homeless and he could pay us rent and he has a roommate who pays us rent and we park there when we go home right, so it doesn't right. cost us so, it's so like there's several base. advantages to having that and we didn't want to do him wrong by saying hey sorry we we want to settle down sooner we wanted to be honorable to him and not pull the rug out from under him so uh, anyway, so we have we're traveling with three of our our, our three, three youngest, youngest children right now, and, and if you um, and if you go to our YouTube channel, those are the three that you're going to see on there since they are with us. The our oldest three have have moved. Like I said, two of them are married, so they've moved out. And the, our third son, he's living on his own with a with a roommate, and he'll he'll be 21 this weekend. Um, so we have the three littles with them, is what we call them. Heritage um, Ways is yeah. answering the question. Is if you're asking, it's just Heritage Ways is the name of our channel, and um, you know we're going to incorporate that name into our next farm and some other projects that we're thinking. Um, so somebody asked, uh, now how do you pay for full-time RVN? Let's make a couple comments here. First of all. Um, um, and I'm only mentioning this to answer the question, but we answer that question to specifics, like exact specifics on our Patreon channel, or account, but we can be a little more broad here and just say that this is costing us more to do this than we thought it would. And so that's another reason we're needing to settle down sooner than we thought, because we kind of thought that our brand might grow a little more and we could earn from our brand, our YouTube channel. And I, I've authored a cookbook so we sell our cookbook. We have Heritage Ways mugs that we're almost out of, but we've sold those. And and um, so just different ways like that is how we, you know, we're Amazon affiliates. We're Young Living distributors. Um, I have Lala, Lala Rose, Rose hair, clips. hair clips. So just different, a lot of yeah, got different things going on to try to support us. And um uh, oh, and another thing is, one of the things we do when we travel is one of the purposes of our travel is to serve and encourage folks. Well, that's really the main reason. And we work in church camps because that's we seek out places we can serve and encourage. And at the same time, we get free hookups. So it's not, you, you should mention how we're different from, like, you know, yeah, the, really the, the, we're not, we're not um, yeah, what you call a, the big travel family or the big RV. We don't. Yeah, there's there's a lot of full-time RV families out there um, that are going out there and they're seeing the country and and they're going out there and doing all that adventurous stuff. In which that's okay that's if fine. that's what they want to yeah. do, but but that's not us. That that was our intent originally, but as our channel grew, it became apparent to us that the Lord was leading us in a different direction. That we needed to go out and make those relationships and build that community outside of the social or outside of the social media world meaning we had those friends on social media but hey let's let's make it a real community let's make them real friendships by meeting them in person so that's what we've done uh, when we were at the Homesteading Life Conference, we met a lot of people. We, we met had a booth up, there. We met up with a lot of people that, w that were our friends on social media. Some of them we had met before, some of them we hadn't. Um, and, and a lot of the people we met there and uh, have become dear friends. And, and uh, you know, now we're here and basically today we're just kind of going around and, and talking to our friends, our friends and seeing our friends and see how everybody's <laughs> doing. Great. There's so. Teresa, our friend. Um, 
but um, so yeah so how you know how do we afford it and then the kids sell high quality pot holders yeah. you know with the cotton loops that are made in USA so that's how they get their spending money and uh, <clears throat> so we have we try a lot of different ways to make money but to be 100% honest and we haven't told you every detail every minute detail but it's harder than we thought so that's another reason we're going to need to settle down sooner than later yep. um, and you know he'll pick up some part-time jobs in the next few months and so forth well I mean so. just just like this month for instance um, I'm a campground host for the month of October in the George Washington National Forest here in uh, here in Virginia and uh, you know we knew we were going to be coming to the Homesteaders of America conference and uh, so as we were planning our route we made sure that we were in Virginia to be able to be here at the Homesteaders of America conference and uh, I was able to find this job with the U.S. Forestry Service being a campground host inside the George Washington National Forest so you know we're there for the month we have full hookups and it's not really costing us anything as far as campsite because you know the one of the things that we've realized is the our biggest expense is uh, campsite rental fees so anytime we can get somewhere where we can work to earn our hookups then that's what we try to do and then we can wash our laundry there too so that also helps yeah. us so yeah, that yeah. Does. that's big now somebody mentioned uh, must be a great life I have to throw this in there it's, it's hard <laughs> it's been really hard because I mean I make um, ferments I make sourdough bread I've got my sourdough starters going all the time I've got my kombucha going all the time you got, your kefir. <laughs> got my uh, milk kefir going so we're, we're not your typical I, we're, we're home we're a homestead on wheels and that's kind of a, it's an, a weird combination because you know we don't really sometimes we feel like we don't fit in the homesteading community anymore since we sold our actual farm and sometimes I feel like well and I'm not interested in fitting in the into the RV full-time RV life well it's funny group, because you know, I don't really yeah. I'm not interested in fitting in that um, you know somebody came up to, came up to me we were in Illinois I think it was after the life conference and we were coming back toward Ohio and then this way and a lady a lady got to the campground next to us he wasn't there and I was sitting there editing a YouTube video outside and and she came over and she was like what kind of I don't even remember what she said what kind of so-and-so do you have you know on your RV and I'm thinking to myself okay lady I don't know but I can talk to you about kombucha do you want to talk about kombucha can I share a scoby well, so that's just like kind of <laughs> well, and just like yesterday uh, we did some laundry yesterday and we had our our clothesline strung between two yeah. trees and it had lace doilies on it I have my doilies and, and, I... and we looked at one another and we we're like hey how many RVers out here you know are hanging their lace doilies out to dry so that sounds a little risque the lace gives you... doilies are for <laughs> my, my aprons that I'm starting to make and sell so anyway that but yeah, lovely. we're we're not we're not the oh. typical full time RV. Family, well, we don't want to so. be. I mean, yeah, we're not I mean, trying. Not so anyway, we're looking forward to settling down, <laughs> so my Scoby, my kombucha doesn't have to travel. I need a bumper sticker. Have bucha, have bucha, less travel. Or yeah. something. I don't know. <laughs> but um, anyway, so when we travel, see, I mean, I have to pick up and pack up. I have to make sure everything's either in the fridge or the kombucha's ready to where it can travel, or I travel with it between the legs and. And I have herbs growing in pots, so we have to bring those into the shower and then take those out when we land somewhere. So next year, here's a little bit of a teaser. Next year, we're going to be not traveling as much, but we're going to be at a <coughs> place for a very long, for about six months. Yeah. So I'm actually, when we're there, I'm going to have some... I was thinking last night, have a raised garden, but get me a Rubbermaid tub, drill holes in the bottom. No, no, we figure something we'll figure out. something out where we are. Hey, reap what you sow. Right. Put our uh, YouTube channel link oh, out there. You. Thank you for that. All right, so we're going to say bye, I guess. This is Little Music Man when you see him on um, <coughs> Can you tell on everybody hi? Huh? Here's the camera right here. He's not shy about the camera. He's got a couple <laughs> videos that he made. You've got what? The... Lego, 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 Lego. Well, you got a few cooking videos. You got the the uh, cocktail weenies. You've got the peanut butter and jelly was the first video you yeah. did a couple years ago. The first video. <laughs> How to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <clears throat> using Amish peanut butter, he says. <laughs> and um, so anyway, are you tired? We're gonna let Sorry, we're going to let somebody else get down and. Uh, it's good to know, visit with y'all. Thank didn't you guys. This. 
you know, we'd appreciate it if y'all would go out there and subscribe to our channel. But if not, that's okay. No, but we look forward friend. to yeah. look forward to seeing you there, and uh, we'll talk and to I'm you guys. And I'm on Instagram later. every day, pretty much. Sure. Uh, videos are every Thursday morning at seven o'clock Central on YouTube, but I'm at Instagram pretty much every day. All right. See y'all. See y'all later. Fun. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you.